Good evening to the participants of the All India Bar Examination 17th Court 2023, which will be going to be held if it is not postponed on 5th February 2023. Yes, anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. I said anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. Is it audible and visible? Is it audible and visible? Gurupati Suresh, Lakshman, Ruksana. Is it audible and visible? At least say yes so that I could move forward. I am not getting the answer from you. I don't know whether you are hearing me or not. Good morning, anyway, sir. Without wasting the time. Good evening, sir. Without wasting the time, let me proceed with my questions. Yes, my first question goes in this manner. Tortious liability arises from the breach of a duty primarily fixed by the law. This duty is towards the person generally and its breach is redressable by an action for unliquidated damages. I am caught according to A. Winfield, B. Salmon, C. Fraser, D. Pollock. Shoot among the A, B, C, D. Almond. W R O N G. Second option. Second option. Winfield. Option it is the Winfield definition. This is. It is the Winfield definition. Tortious liability arises from the breach of a duty primarily fixed by the law. This duty is towards the person generally and its breach is redressable by an action for unliquidated damages, according to Winfield. So, first question, right option is A, Winfield. Second question, one among the common law countries, the Supreme Court of Canada took a holistic approach in the case of Dash. It is difficult to define the nature of tort. Indeed, one of the greatest writers in the field, W.L. Prosser, has expressed the opinion that it should not be defined. That means tort should not be defined. And it is decided in the case of A. Smith Jenkins, B. Lane versus Holloway, C. Pitts versus Hunt, D. Hall versus Herbert. Out of the A, B, C, D, which case law it is decided? in the Supreme Court of Canada. Option A, Smith versus Jenkins. Wrong. Second option. Option D, Hall versus Herbert. Sir. It is a Hall versus Herbert case law. It is decided by the Supreme Court of Canada. Of course, the Pitts versus Hunt case law also similar nature. Both are drunken and they are allowed to drive it. But in the Hall versus Herbert, both are drunken fully, the beer. And uh, on the way, they lost the ignition key and hence they want to, one will push it, another will drive it. And the person said, you drive, I will push it. And he pushed it. While pushing, it went to the steep and met with an accident. And consequently, a lot of injuries has happened. And the defense taken by the person is XTP cause or non arriter ratio. The defense is not available because both are drunken. So the Supreme Court said, both are drunken, hence... 
contributory negligence should be there. So 50% he is going to achieve it because he himself also drank in. That is the Hall versus Harbert case law. Okay, now the third question. One of the most important and right allocation of votes was done by the dash of the House of Lords. The province of the tort is to allocate responsibility for injurious conduct. Who said? A. Lord Blackburn. B. Lord Atkin. C. Lord Denning. D. Lord Bentek. Option B. Lord Alkins. Option B. B, B for Kelly. Yeah, B for Bombay, sir. Wrong. W R O A G. Wrong. Second Lord answer. Blackburn, sir. Lord Blackburn. Yeah. W R O A G. Wrong. The right sir, answer option is D. C sir, for option Kat. D for Delhi. Lord Bentick. C for Cat. Lord Denning is the right answer. Yes, sir. The right answer for the third question is C. C for Cat. That is R. C for California. Lord Denning. Fourth question. Which one is the characteristic of tort? A. A tort is a civil wrong. Two. A tort is a private wrong. Three. A tort is an infringement of a right in rem. Four. A tort deals with the related legal rights. Options A. 1 plus 2 plus 3. B. 2 plus 3 plus 4. C. 1 plus 3 plus 4. D. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. A is right answer, sir. 1 plus 2 plus 3. W R O N G. 1 plus 3 plus 4, sir. Option C. 1 plus 3 plus 4. W R O N G. Option D is right answer, sir. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Option D is the right answer because all are ingredients of the tart only. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. I will show you here. A tort is a private wrong that one private person commits against another. The agreed party comes before a court in his or her own initiative seeking a remedy against the alleged wrongdoer. The factual situation that give rise to a tort action and are divorce, diverse and familiar. The tort is a branch of private law. It focuses on the inter interpersonal wrongdoing primarily between the private persons. Unlike the law of contract, the tort obligations are not normally entered into the voluntary. Unlike the criminal law, the state is not necessarily a party to a tort action. So that is the feedback. Now, fifth question. Anyone can unmute and read the fifth question? A taught Sanskrit word is Jinha. Option A, Jinha. Option B, Jimho. Option C, Jimha. Option D, Jumha. Option Which is the appropriate right answer right. for the ABCD, man? C, C. Jimba. Jimha. Spelling J I M H A C for California Jimha is the right answer. C for California Jimha is the right answer. Now the sixth question: Can a husband be held vicariously liable for the tort of his wife in India? A. Yes, because the husband is considered both sides of the same coin. B. Yes, because the husband is the agent of his wife. C. No, a married woman cannot be can be independently sued. D. No, because the husband is not the guardian of his wife. Should the right answer? Sir, option A, sir. Yes, because the husband is considered both sides of the same coin. W R O N G. B, sir. Read. Option, option, B, B. Sir, yes. option B, sir. Option B, yes, because the B husband is, is the agent of his wife. C. C if is right answer. C, it is the right answer. C for California. No, a married woman can be independently sued, not the husband. Because 
A wife can sue the husband, a husband can sue the wife. Now they are the two different entities, not the same side of the coin. Seventh question. What is the most common tort claim? A. Defamation. B. Malicious prosecution. C. Negligence. D. Intention. C. Negligence is right answer. Negligence is the common tort claim. In most of the cases, it is the element negligence is there and hence it is the most common tort claim. Eighth question. The people were given her consent was vitiated by fraud as to the nature and the quality of the act. Hence the singing teacher would be held liable and the defense of the consent was not applicable observed in the case of Dash. A. R versus Abdullah. B. R versus William. C. R versus Dudley and C. Friends. D. R versus Phillips. R versus Dudley and Stephen. W. R. O. N. G. The question is R versus Dudley and Stephen. A shipwreck was there and four members are left. Among the four, one is a, a small boy and the other two killed the small boy because they could not reach to the stay destination, I mean bank. They starved for the seven days and hence they killed the boy and ate. They say at the necessity we ate the boy, but it is a murder. That is R versus Dudley and Sifan. R versus Abdullah, a justice also would be said to be as a dying declaration. That is R versus Abdullah. And R versus William is the right answer. Where a singing teacher and he told that student, if you have the sex with me, that is the BBC and your tone is very much uh, soft. That is, he has taken the consent by making the fraud to the student. Hence, R versus William is there. But R versus Phillips, I fabricated. Ninth question. Two little boys were playing cowboy related games. One boy hit the arrow and hit to the another boy in the eye. The, the court gives a judgment in the defendant's favor as a five years child does not even think about it. Hence, the defendant is not liable and absurd in the case of A. Davis versus Bunn. B. Fitzpatrick versus Cooper. C. Walmsy versus Ham, Ham, Hamonic. And D. Lemay versus Bray. Option C, Pumsi versus Harmony. Say loudly. Option C, sir. It is the C for the California. Yes, sir. Yes, you are right. Pumsi versus Harmonic, the case law, there's the arrow and bow playing is there where one of the eye was lost by one of the player and hence it is the boy of the five years uh, and they could not know the nature of the act and uh, no one would be held liable. The similar nature of the case is there. The school go boys or girls are playing with their ruler like a, a sword like Ramarao and uh, Rajanala fighting. So one of the ruler was... Uh, cut out and the splint entered into the eye of it and she became a blind. Even the school management is not held liable to pay the compensation. I have forgotten the case law name, but anyway, it is a similar type because there is no such an intention of the school authority to take it because they played it when there were classes going on when the teacher turned to the board. Okay, now let us see the another case law. Which major, that means act of God, is not a defense in the following case law. Number one, Nichols versus Marshland. Number two, Kalulal versus Samchen. Number three, Blith versus Brim, Brimingham Waterworks. C, Ramalinga Radar versus Naranar DR. Option A, 1 plus 2. Option B, 2 plus 3. Option C, 2 plus 4. Option D, 1 plus 4. Which is the correct answer? Sir, option C, 2 plus 4. W-R-O-N-G. Sir, option D, 1 plus 4. D for Delhi. 
it is the vis major is a defense applicable in the nichols versus marsh line but is not applicable in the kallular versus semchen and is not applicable in the ramalinga rather versus narayana reddy r so who said c c is the right answer 2 plus 4 is the right answer is it clear yes sir yes sir okay 11th question anyone can unmute and read motor vehicles act number dash of 1988 a 57 b 58 c 59 d 60 option a 57 sir w r o n g what is 58 i think so the right answer option is sir? c california 59 Act number fifty-nine of the nineteen eighty-eight. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Twelfth question. On February fifteenth, twenty twenty-two, the Ministry of Road Transport and Highway issued a latest amendment to the Central Motor Vehicle Act rules, eight nineteen eighty-nine. These amendments aims to enhance the safety measures for the road transport. They are effective from dash a. First April twenty twenty two B option second April twenty twenty two C option third April twenty twenty two D option fourth April twenty twenty two. B is right answer, sir. Second April twenty twenty two. W R O N G. Second option. Sir, option A. First April twenty twenty two. Option A is the right answer. First April twenty twenty two is the right answer for the twelfth question. Now the thirteenth question. Anyone can unmute and read. Personal vehicles Personal. after fifteen years and commercial vehicles after dash years should undergo a compulsory fitness test. Option A five, option B ten, option C fifteen, option D twenty. Option D twenty. Option A five years, sir. If you say option A five, W R E N G. If you say C sir, fifteen years. If you say mm -hmm. California C fifteen years, W R O N G. Sir, option B ten years, sir, for commercial It vehicles. It is ten years commercial vehicles. B for Bombay, it is ten years for the commercial vehicles and fifteen years for the personal vehicles. And uh, later on, they have to go the compulsory fitness test. Private vehicle after fifteen, commercial vehicle after ten years. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Fourteenth questions. Cars manufactured after the January one, nineteen fifty. Can be imported as a dash cars to India. A. Antique. B. Old fashioned. C. Old. D. Vintage. Option B. Vintage. Sir. A. Antique. Is a car we use not antique. In car sir, option we B. use vintage. But in other items we use antique piece. Like Mona Lisa, antique piece, sculpture, antique piece. We don't say vintage. Only car we say vintage. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fifteenth question. Supreme Court order on October twenty ninth, two thousand eighteen, prohibited plying of fifteen years old petrol and dash old diesel vehicles in the national capital region. A five years, B ten years, C fifteen years, D twenty years. D twenty years. Twenty years, sir. Same fifteen years, sir. All fifteen, yes, sir. Option All C fifteen years. Fifteen year old petrol cars. 
10 year old diesel vehicle option b sir 10 years 10 years old diesel vehicle because diesel vehicle is a load bearing vehicle and hence its life span would be reduced am i right yes sir now what is the right answer here Then is the right answer. Option B. Clear. B is right answer. Yes. Sixteenth question. Currently, dash in the Motor Vehicle Act, nineteen eighty-eight, makes the driving under the influence of criminal offence in India. A. One eighty-three. B. One eighty-four. C. One eighty-five. D. One eighty-six. Option B. One eighty-four, sir. B for Bombay. What is the influence? What influence it is? Influence under the intoxication. Under the intoxication means drinking. Drinking. Yes, drinking driving is an offence as per the Motor Vehicle Act. Which section says? Option B, one eighty four, sir. Option C, California, one eighty five. So seventeenth question: Police measure blood alcohol content (BAC) by using the breath lasers. The legal limit for the alcohol content in the blood is a zero point zero two percent. B zero point zero three percent, C zero point zero four percent, D zero point zero five percent. Sir, option B zero point zero three. Option B is the right answer. It is a zero point zero three percent blood. If they found, they can say that that fellow is drinking driving, drunken driving. So that was the thing. Eighteenth question: If you say in the milligrams, thirty milligrams per hundred mL. So eighteenth question, section one eighty one, chapter thirteen of the Motor Vehicle Act, nineteen eighty eight, deals with the dash. Number one, offences. Number two, faults. Number three, penalties. Number four, procedures. Here I have given the options: A, one plus two plus three. B one plus three plus four. C two plus three plus four. D one plus two plus four. Sir, option A one plus two plus three. W R O N G. Option C is right answer, sir. Option C. If you say C for California, two plus three plus four. W R O N G. Option B is right answer, sir. One plus two plus four. If you say the D for Delhi, one plus two plus four. It is W R O N G. So B one plus three plus four. False is not there. I intentionally inserted the false, but there are only one, three, four. That is offences, penalties, procedures. So the right answer is option B one plus three plus four. B for Bombay. One plus three plus four is the right answer for the eighteenth question. Nineteenth question: The Motor Vehicle Act, nineteen eighty-eight, was amended on a sixth August two thousand nineteen, b seventh August two thousand nineteen, c eighth August two thousand nineteen, d ninth August two thousand nineteen. It is the latest amendment of the Motor yes, Vehicle Act. C for Delhi, sir. Option C for Delhi is the right answer. It is the ninth August two thousand nineteen. It is amended. Please, I am getting the sounds mute when you speak. At the time, I am mute. Do you want to contribute anything? Please speak. Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Okay, twentieth yes, question. non pecuniary damages under the motor vehicle act one compensation for the loss of estate 
Two, compensation for the loss of consortium. Three, compensation for the loss of love and affection. Four, funeral expenses, cost transportation of the body and medical expenses. Options. A, 1 plus 2 plus 3. B, 2 plus 3 plus 4. C, 1 plus 3 plus 4. D, 1 plus 2 plus 4. Option, right. option D, 1 plus, plus 2 plus 4. Plus four. D for Delhi, sir. Delhi, you understand the first question? Non-pecuniary damages. Means we cannot measure in the form of money or bill. Okay, sir. One sir, option three, three, sir. sir. One plus two plus four. Funeral expenses, we can count it. Transportation, we can count it. Medical expenses, we can count it. We have the bills. It's the actual damages. Compensation for, compensation for loss of love and affection cannot be cal calculated, sir. Consortium cannot be calculated. Loss of estate cannot be cal calculated. Love and affection cannot be calculated. Option A, 1 plus 2 plus 3. Option A, 1 plus 2 plus 3. 4 is actual damages. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can measure. Funeral expenses, cost, transportation, body and medical expenses, these are our actual damages. They are pecuniary damages. But I ask non-pecuniary damages. 21st question. The countries like India, customers are, rather customer, consumers are treated as dash. A. Lords. B. Gods. C. Divinities. D. Idols. Option B. Gods. Gods. It is the option B, gods. A consumer or a customer is the incarnation of God. Incarnation and avatar, no, Telugu. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 22nd question. Match the following keywords from part A and corresponding sections under part B in the light of the Consumer Protection Act. Now, one, consumer, two, service, three, defect, four, complaint. B, section 21C, B, section 21F, C, section 21O, D, section 21D. Means section 2, subsection 1, class C. That is actually the theory. Options they have given. A, 1B, 2D, 3A, 4C, B, 1A, 2D, 3C, 4B, C, 1C, 2D, 3A, 4C, D, 1D, 2C, 3B, 4A. B is right answer. B, B is right answer. D for yes, Delhi is the right answer. Right, sir. D for the Delhi is the right answer. Consumer, section 21D. Service, section 21O. Defect, section 21F. Compliant, section 21C. So, 23rd question, which is the exact or corrections, correct or sequence among the six rights under the Consumer Protection Act of 1986? A. Right to safety, right to choose, right to information, right to be heard, right to secret wrestle, right to consumer education. B. Right to safety, right to information, right to be heard, right to choose, right to secret wrestle, right to consumer education. C. Right to safety, right to information, right to choose, right to be heard, right to secret wrestle, right to consumer education. D. Right to safety, right to secret wrestle, right to information, right to choose, right to heard, right to consumer education. Among the a, B, C, D. Which one is the correct sequence? C is right to safety. Right to safety. If you say answer A, America, W R O N G. Is that sir? Say loudly. B, B is correct. B for Bombay. Ah, yes, sir. W R O N G. C is right answer, sir. C is right answer. California. C is the right answer. Right yes, to safety, 
right to information, right to choose, right to be heard, right to seek redressal, right to consumer education. C is the appropriate answer. Look here. Right to safety, right to information, right to choose, right to be heard, right to be secret wrestle, right to consumer education. So 24th question, anyone can unmute and read? The district forum has the same powers as, the, as that of a civil court in the following matters. One, in the summary and enforcing of attendance of any plaintiff or witness. Two, in examining the witness on an oath. Three, in receiving the evidence of affidavit. Four, in other matters which may be prescribed. Option A, 1 plus 2 plus 3. Option B, 2 plus 3 plus 4. Option C, 1 plus 3 plus 4. Option D, 1 plus 2 plus 4. Option C is right answer. 1 plus 3 plus 4. W R O N G. Sir, option A, one plus Sir. two plus three. If you say the A, Sir, option, option America, one plus two plus three, W R O N G. Sir, option D, one plus two plus four, sir. Option D, sir. Say D, Delhi, one plus two plus four, W R O N G. He is right answer, B. B is the right answer. Why one is the wrong answer? Tell me. Why one is the wrong answer? The reason is in the summoning and enforcing of attendance of any defendant or witnesses. Yeah. What I wrote? Plenty. 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 I wrote. So, now 25th question. Wow. Which is the correct option among the four options? I said correct option. Mm. Okay, let you drop to the next page. A, today the customer knows the rights and does the service providers focus on the quality of good and services. Hence, it maintains a good and healthy relationship between the customers and service providers. Lakshman, mute. Lakshman, mute. Lakshman, mute. I'm getting the sound from you. B, today the buyer knows the rights and does the services providers focus on the quality of the goods and services. Hence, it maintains a good and healthy relationship between the both customers and service providers. C, today the purchaser knows their rights and does the service providers focus on the quality of the goods and services. Hence, it maintains a good and healthy relationship between the both the customers and service providers. D. Today a consumer knows that right and does the service providers for focus on the quality of the goods and services. Hence, it maintains a good and healthy relationship between the both the customers and service providers. Among the A, B, C, D, which one is the correct statement? E, D for Delhi. Option, option, option D. A, sir. No, sir. Option A. W R O N G. D for Delhi, sir. D okay. for Delhi. The reason, can you tell me where the wrong lies? A. Consumer knows. Customer, consumer. Consumer knows their rights and the service provides. And uh, somewhere in the B, you know, instead of instead of writing consumer, I wrote buyer. <laughs> buyer. In the C, buyer. I wrote the purchaser. Yes, sir. Human. So the D is the correct answer for the 25th question. Now, 26th question. Dash, in this case, the appellant had purchased his second-hand truck under a hair purchase agreement. The vehicle was insured by the respondent insurance company. One day, when he was driving the truck, a passenger asked him to stop the truck and give him a lift. When he stopped the truck, the passenger brutally assaulted the driver and fled with the vehicle. Options A. Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation KTPC versus Ashok Iron Works Private Limited. B. Manjit Singh versus National Insurance Company Limited. C. 
Another Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation versus Ashok Iron Works Private Limited D. Sapint Corporation replies Provident Trust versus HDFC and others. He is the right answer. Manjit Singh versus National Insurance Company Limited. It is the Manjit Singh versus National Insurance Company Limited because these Punjab people, they are having the national permit. They will go from one state to another state. But this Punjabi, he thought that he would like to give stopping perhaps the needy and he stopped it. When he stopped it and he has climbed inside and he brutally assaulted him and he has taken over the lorry, truck. So that is the Manjit Singh versus National Insurance Company. They said it is decided merely stopping and uh, as a human tendency. So it is not the violation of the insurance company rules. And hence the insurance company should have to pay the compensation. Okay, contribution is there. Of course, they don't give the 100, but they give at least 80%. Yes, which one is the correct statement? A. Consumer is in any person who buys goods and avails the services for its feasting. It includes any person except for the person who avails of such a goods or services for the purpose of commercial or resale use. B. A consumer is any person who sells the goods or avails the services for its consumption. It includes any person except for the person who avails of the such goods or services for the purpose of the commercial or resale use. And C, consumer is any person who buys the goods or avails the services for its consumption. It includes any person except for the person who avails the such goods or services for the purpose of commercial or resale use. D, consumer is any person who buys the goods or avails the services for its consumption. It includes any person except for the person who avails for such a goods or services for the determination of the commercial or resale use. C, A, Sir, option C, B, C for Calcutta. C, D. Yes, no. the C, right C answer is Calcutta. C for the Calcutta is the right answer. The right answer is the C is the right answer for this one. Of course, wrong, you know, I changed by year, I changed something. You can make it out if you could closely observe it. Yes, 28th question. Supreme Court held that a huge negligence was made out on the part of the doctors and the hospital. Hence, the court awarded the damage worth 1 crore to compensate the present prospective medical expenses and suffering of life was decided in the case of A. Serpient Corporation Employees Provident Fund Trust vs. HDFC and others. B. VN Sri Khande vs. Anita Sena Fernandez. C. Nizam Institute of Medical Science versus Prashant S. Dhanang, Dhananka and others. And D. Indian Medical Association versus VP Shanta and others. C is right answer, sir. Nizam Institute of Medical Science and versus Prashant S. Dhananka is a very famous case law because the negligence on the part of the doctor, that fellow became a victim and hence one crore rupees as a compensation will be paid by the Nizam Institute of Medical Science. Where this is Nizam Institute of Medical Science? Hyderabad, sir. Panjagutta, sir. Panjagutta is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Not Amir Pet. Via Lakadika pool to the Amir Pet, Panjagutta will come. That is the place where this uh, Nizam Institute of Medical Science is there. Okay, now let us go to the next question. Supreme Court held that service rendered to a patient by a medical practitioner by way of consultation, diagnosis and treatment, both medical, medicinal and surgical, would fall within the ambit of the service as defined in the Section 210, means Section 2, Subsection 1 and Class O of the Consumer Protection Act of 1986. Deficiency in service has to be judged by applying the test of the reasonable skill and care which is applicable in action for the damages for negligence. Which case law it is? A. Springs Meadow Hospital versus Harzol Ahulwalia. 
B. Indian Medical Association versus VP Shanta and others. C. Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation versus Ashok Iron Works Private Limited. D. Mrs. Imperia Structure Limited versus Anil Patni. It is a very so, Option B. Case Indian Medical Association versus VP Shanta and others. It is a Shanta case law. It is a very much famous case law. If any person who read the Consumer Protection Act, if he doesn't know Shanta case law and uh, Institute of Uttu Institute, I told you no. Ne. Panjakutta Institute. These are very mm -hmm. famous mm -hmm. case laws. These are medical college. Yes, it's a very famous case laws are there. Okay, 30th question. Major difference in the old act and new act. What is the old act here? What is the old act here? 1986. What is the new act here? 2019 amendment act. Yes, it is not amendment. Completely repealed. Completely repealed. Yes, one, number one. Product liability has not been fixed. The consumer cannot seek the compensation for the harm caused by the product or services under the section 219, under the 219 Act. Two, the pecuniary jurisdiction of the consumer dispute redressal forum has been increased under the 219 Act. Three, instead of saying district forum as per the old act, now the new act says district commission. Four, under the Consumer Protection Act, act of 1986, the State Commission was composed of one president and two other members. Under the Consumer Protection Act of 2019, the State Commission is composed of one president and four other members. Now, out of one, two, three, four, here are the options. A, one plus two plus three. B, one plus three plus four. C, two plus three plus four. D, one plus two plus three plus four, which is the right option. Sir, option C, 2 plus 3 plus 4. Option C, California, 2 plus 3 plus 4 is the right answer because I... Jai Hind!